What's up, everyone? I'm Janitor Jake. And I'm Chris K. And welcome to the American Gaming Geeks. What? All right, and welcome back for another episode. Now, if you're new to the channel or you want to get right straight to the game, you can go to this number right here, and it'll take you right to the gameplay. Otherwise, we are going to get the show started. And so today, we're going to be playing a game that's kind of a surprise. What is it? A little bit of a surprise for you. I don't know yet. So it's based off of a movie, like a movie series. Okay. And I've been wanting to get it for a while, but I could never find it. And I finally found a copy because I don't like ordering stuff online and game yeah. stores never had it. Yeah. And finally, I found a copy for the PS4. So you want to check it out? You ready to play what it? Is it? Big it's going to be kind of cool. Big you ready? secret. Big secret. What is it? So today we're going to be playing good old Evil Dead the game. No way. Good old Evil Dead. So you grew up with Evil Dead, right? You uh, yeah, know it? Yeah, I know Evil Dead, um, Sam Raimi, Bruce Campbell starred in it and then he spun off and did the army of darkness and then he did the evil dead series and they also made a few evil dead uh remakes along the way which nothing to do with sam raimi yeah so it says the evil dead evil dead 2 army of darkness <coughs> ash versus evil dead mm -hmm. and i do know yeah they made the remakes yeah. of the movies and stuff so. i've been waiting for this to come <laughs> out for so long so it is complete because it is brand new. Now, as far as having a manual, they don't do that anymore. They got the pamphlets, which mm. I think is kind of dumb. Mm -hmm. I'm not really too familiar with Evil Dead. I've seen the first one, the second one, the third. I watched all the movies, but it was a long time ago, so I don't know every intimate detail of every single character. I don't know what color the leaves were on the trees mm -hmm. when they opened the door originally, that kind of stuff. Mm. But I know the, kind of the basic generic plot. Yeah. And so uh, I guess without further ado, let's pop the puppy in and get going. You ready to play? I'm game. Groovy. You happy now? Yeah, you happy. happy that You happy that I found the game? I'm happy you found the game. Just randomly out in the woods. You, did you find it in the basement of a haunted cabin? Please yeah. tell me you found it in the basement of a haunted cabin. Ooh, look at that. That's kind of a cool image. Yeah, he looks so young. 13, he's 13 years old. Yeah, 13. I wonder if they got Bruce Campbell's voice. Uh-oh. Ooh. So that's kind of cool. It's like the Creepy. demons. Yeah. Oh, Renaissance Pictures. That's that's Sam Raimi's company. Studio Scandal. M Metro MGM. MGM. Hmm. Lionsgate. Lionsgate, huh? Just every movie studio. Just every movie studio. That Stars was involved. How about HBO? How about Hulu? How about Showtime? Netflix? Unreal Engine. Okay. How about USA Network? How about Nickelodeon too? While we're at it. <laughs> Hallmark. <laughs> Uh oh. Press the Evil X Dead. Alright, so I don't really know much of the storyline, so on the back it says, Come get some. Step into the shoes of Ash Williams or his friends and experience experience over the top co op and PvP multiplayer action. Fight for good as a team of four survivors to take down deadites and evil forces or take control of the powerful Kandorian demon in a game inspired by the Evil Dead universe. Well, since you're a fan of Evil Dead, I guess, I guess you could play it. Gotta take it from you. Look at that chin. Just, ooh, yeah. I'm waiting for that doggone Spider-Man to show up. <laughs> All right, go God, down. Yeah. Turn subtitles on. Wait, where's subtitles? There it is. That writing is really small. It's tiny. Mini map rotation. Might as well turn that on. Invert. I don't want to invert. No, no. No, I hit inverted. Okay, so. I don't know what all that nonsense is in the upper right hand. 1.5.2 build, so it's like the build version, and all this jibber jabber, like a website. Yeah. Looks like a YouTube video. All, all right, right, so. Got some nips showing there. Ooh. <laughs> a little sucky sucky. <laughs> 
Tutorial. Let's just start with a tutorial, because how many people do the tutorials? Sure, yeah, I mean, sometimes it's kind of... You get some Easter eggs out of it. I guess we can just try Survivor, since oh. it, this is the first one that defaulted to. Give it a shot. <coughs> Ash oh, Williams from the Evil from Dead. Evil Dead, Evil Dead, Dead 2. 2. Army of Darkness. And then probably the TV and show. Ash vs. Evil Dead. That's kind of cool. Huh. Cool. Well, I'm going to try Ash vs. Evil Dead, if you don't mind. Or... Fine, don't, don't, don't start with the original. Well, That's here's fine. the thing. This, he's from Ash vs. Evil Dead. Huh. So why is he down here? Pablo should be up here. Mm -hmm. Why do they make the writing so small? I don't know. It's, it's like HD. that's ridiculous. Get your glasses on. All right. Well, I guess I'll go with the original. Can't beat the original. No. Nope. nope. Can't. <laughs> and that's that's actually Bruce Campbell's voice. All right. Each demon class has their own unique army and combat style. So I've never played this game before. You've never played it, but you're familiar with the show. Yeah. I'm slightly familiar with the movies and the show a little bit. Mm -hmm. I, I got the show on DVD. You got the show on VHS? VHS. All right, Book of the Dead. Whoa, that's kind of cool. This is Professor Raymond Noby. Mm. History will reflect that I am the wretched soul responsible for awakening a Kandarian demon. I beg you to perform the following actions in order to prevent its further spread. Collect a piece of the map near Camp Greenbird. All right, so what's that say? Search nearby for pieces of my map. It contains the location of the items required to banish the demon. All right, so can we look around a little bit? Like, vault. Yeah, can you check the mailbox? Check the mailbox for clues? What is he doing? I have no idea. Is it, come on. Come on. Is that a taunt? Okay, so vault must be like you jump over it. Come on, you skid. What if you go outside the boundaries of Fantasia? Well, won't let me. Oh, so it's just like a wall? So you can vault over that. So let's go back <laughs> to the beginning and look at that sign real quick. Okay. So there's like that hologram sign. Kandarian Demon has forced its way into our world. Humanity's salvation lies in the lost pages of the Necronomicon and the Kandarian Dagger. Find the pages, destroy the Dark Ones, and save our souls. Save right, your so, souls. So what if we go back? Okay, what does that say? Tutorial limit. Boom. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, and I'm pretty sure in the tutorial there's not going to be anything in here for us to pick up. So it looks like X is like, a, I don't know, you can dodge under some stuff earlier, but. All right, well, I guess let's just follow the, follow the red brick road. All right. So vault, search the house. Okay. Okay, I shouldn't hit that uh, circle button anymore. I don't know, he, I think he's like taunting. Uh oh no! Yeah. There's something you should see here. Oh, I marked something interesting. Okay, that's what I did. Check this out. All right. So as soon as you come into the door, it wants you to go different ways. So that apparently you can collect that. So oh, you gotta hold the stupid thing. Shumps cola. Some more stuff. More cola. Oh, I don't know what that was. Oh, Shumps cola. You can't carry anymore. So I wonder if that's like health. He's over encumbered. Maybe. Drink Shemp's Cola to recover some of your health. Bar. You're already down like half. Shemp's makes you feel good. Yeah. That's weird. So you might as well grab another one. Now, does this look Maybe familiar like it's from the movie? Um, or is it like a different layout? It, it looks similar. I don't. I think it's different. I think the feel is similar. Okay, so melee combat, R1 is a light attack, I discovered that. R2 is a heavy attack, I didn't... Oh, oh, you hit... Alright, so pick, your, like it. pick uh -huh. your axe. Now, what's that say? Okay, um... Hand axe. Epic a legendary. Common epic legendary. Epic legendary. Epic, common rare. Rare and common. So this is kind of like the classification of weapons in uh, Fortnite, basically. Can I, can I take more than one? No, he just knocks it on the floor. Nope. Just throw it on the floor. Now can you bust the TV? Let's Go see. over there and smash the TV to pieces. And it just goes through it. I do like the lighting effect on there. Yeah. Mirror. Yeah, you can't destroy objects, apparently. Yeah, a little disappointing. Can't destroy the couch and get some gold? No. Wrong game. 
It almost kind of reminds me, too, of um, Left 4 Dead. Okay. Francis, come check this out. <laughs> Look at this. Use the amulet for extra protection. Yeah, that's all outside stuff. Yeah. Let's go out there. All right, so... Yeah, it does remind me of Left 4 Dead. Check this out. Flies. It sounds buzzing. like flies, yeah. I wasn't sure. Is that violins or flies? Use the amulet for extra protection. Its power is only reduced by taking damage. So you might as well collect the thing. Right there on the picnic table. What's this? Another amulet. Two of them? Okay. I thought the amulet was from Evil... Uh, Ash versus the Evil hmm. Dead. Can you go on the swing? Oh, yeah. That's from... Wait, where is it? That's from the movie. Except it was on the porch, so that's not... Can't do nothing. Oh, oh, it moves. Cool. So that is cool that you can interact with it. I figured you would just walk through it. His hair is kind of almost a bull haircut. Oh, here's the generator room, huh? Oh, oh so there's the room. generator outside running. Looks like a grill. <laughs> it's a generac. Flashlight. Turn on the flashlight and explore the, the shed. shed. Can reveal can hidden it. items. Okay. Light. Light is good. Amulet. Can't carry any more amulets. <laughs> Mark, who's Mark? Just kidding. You can mark it. Okay. All right. So I hope you don't. I hope you don't run out of battery juice. Legendary weapon, most powerful. No, stop that. Oops. That was the amulet button. Which one is the flashlight? There it is. Okay. You might as well go pick up the other amulet. Yeah, now. I just I didn't realize you use it up. So it's interesting. Once you've shined the light on it, it's already. It doesn't matter if it's dark or not. You can still pick it up. These are the most powerful weapons, but the hardest to find. Oh. If I pick this up, I'm going to drop mine, right? It's yeah. It's time for the tenderizer. <clears throat> okay. I think... So, 85. So, the meat hammer actually is more powerful than your axe. Nice! Don't push me. I'll do what I have to do. Okay. I don't know what... It said R3. Execute a finisher. Oh, that's why it said R3. Oh. Well, too late now. Yeah, no, you don't like paying attention. No, that's true. <laughs> Fight against the deadites. Attack, heavy attack, and dodge. I forgot dodge. But yeah, it's weird that Meat Hammer had more damage than the axe does. Well, let's let's go grab it. Balance bar is higher? I don't... So yeah, the meat bar has plus five balance bar and plus two damage. Yeah. But so you can go with the axe or what? I don't remember him. Did he ever use a meat hammer in the movie? I don't remember. Okay. 45 miles an hour. Oh. Ooh. Ah, so remember, pay attention to R3. Nice. Can you just leave me? Uh, let Bruce Campbell talk. Hey. Now, did you push the R3 button? I did when it came up. Ah. I was hitting the buttons too fast to do it you there. Do oh, it. that was it. You made me do it. He has ammo. Long gun. Yeah, I keep hearing like... Yeah. Yeah. Looks like a break in the fence, too. Ooh. Oh. That's the end of that. <laughs> oh, that's pretty sweet. <laughs> can you go through that fence? There's like a hole in the fence. Maybe yeah. you can go in there and then turn your flashlight on and maybe there was something... Maybe. Around here. The footstep sound effects continue after he stops moving, which is annoying. <laughs> yeah, it's stupid. Yeah, that's what I was saying earlier. Like, with all the sound effects, it sounds like there's stuff everywhere. <laughs> One less <laughs> evil bastard. Ha! Ha! Just all these creatures walking around. There's one with a mohawk. Punk's not dead. Yeah. Don't screw with me. But it is dead. Yeah. It, it's walking dead. It's evil, evil dead. dead. <laughs> Search the house. So make sure your flashlight's on. Mm hmm. Now that's the thing. It's like. It's going to want us to always have our flashlight on when we go into places uh, like this. Shoot. <clears throat> Dag nabbit. I don't see nothing. So much noise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
trudging through the swamp. Ooh. I can't get up there because there's no jump button. How do you get up there? Oh, okay. That's how you get up there. Oh. Fight your way up. Yeah. It's Nothing. too bad you can't interact with that stuff. Yeah, I like smashing things. Just kick the garbage all over. Yeah, that works. Kick it out in the swamp. It just keeps rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling. Floats on top it's of it, It's running too. away. It's possessed. Oh, nice! <laughs> it vanishes. Can't get through the wall. That's what we need to uh, figure out how to make. Disappearing garbage. Yeah. Garbage that disappears. Runs away. It's like a weird delay. When he starts running, there's no sound. Yeah, you're right. It is. There's a delay there. Hey, all right. So now there's a gun. This should keep us safe. Spank you. Ah. Yeah. Oh, I see how the gun's gonna be. I see. Oh, at least you get to keep it. Leave us alone. Okay. I was like, oh, so you get attacked. Okay, shoot him. And what's he do? Uh, uh, let me pull the gun out of here real quick. Yeah. And take a look down. And the why does he switch to the axe? I'm like, wait a minute. Oh, you have to hold the L button in order to use the gun. Otherwise, if you use, yeah, if you use the attack button without holding L2, he does a melee attack. He puts the gun away and does a melee attack. So you absolutely have to aim with L2 first. Can you pick those up? No, you're... I don't know. Apparently you can. Special weapon ammo. Okay. It was all red, though. Like, indicating, nope, you're full. Unless it's evil. Can you get in there? See Harry Potter? Harry Potter's living in there. He's a, he's a deadite Harry Potter. <laughs> no. Little nothing. beep. 22. Yeah, it looks like he's got a 22. Sounds like he's got a 22. Pew. Come on! Oh, okay. this is like two shots, and it's like reloading. I love the blood splatter, that's pretty cool. Yeah. All these, like, objects in the camera's way. Like, Pendergras place? Is that what that says? Pendergras. Is the most effective way to defeat enemies, but the ammo is scarce, so make every shot count. So now they're just saying, yep, you're not going to have, like, any ammo. So then what's the point of using the gun, then? Sparingly. We should have gone into that damn cellar. That's what I was wondering, like, do we still have to do more stuff in the house? You said I never should have gone in that cellar. In that darn cellar. So there's, like, an upstairs, too. Fight. Oh, reload is square. Gotta reload. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like Primeval from the Ghostbusters cartoon show. Oh. Alright, so you got everything on the first Looks floor, like right? Yeah. Now go upstairs. Oh, wait, there's an unmark button? L1 is unmark. Okay. Yeah, it's like you hear all this, like, ah. Uh, like trees moving, books <laughs> opening up. Is this person a used car salesman? He's got the thing. He's got all these uh, license plates. License ever. plates. He's got a guitar. Nothing. Just, just there for show. All right. So nothing up here. Weird. Now, is there a cellar down here that we missed on the floor? I'm glad we're not running out of juice on our flashlight. Yeah. It's Marty McFly <laughs> with his life jacket. He's Hello, got a, McFly. You got, just pushed me a little too far. The sound quality. That's interesting. It's like they had him film it in a bathroom. Huh. It's like they're in the bathroom taking a whiz, and they're like, "Here, can you record some audio dialogue?" <laughs> they're just making this game, and they just stopped at a convention and ended up finding Bruce Campbell, taking a leak next to him. Can you record some audio <laughs> for the game? Drive to travel more quickly and run over enemies. That's cool. Turn wow. your lights on now. Ooh, they are on. So you got him ran over. Nice. Well, it lagged out there for a sec. 
That's kind of cool though. You can run them over, uh -huh. leave. Oh, leave the car. Lame. Oh, that's awesome. Careful. I have been known to fight back when I'm cornered. I was wondering if they like busted out the window. I don't know. It's kind of nice. The controls are pretty good. <laughs> oh, so I de mm. I destroyed it. Oh, so you can destroy the vehicle. All right. So it's nice to know that you can crash it too many times. Yeah. Camp Greenbird. Find the pieces of the map. It'd be awesome if Mel Gibson was wandering around out there somewhere. <laughs> Chasing the aliens. Piece Nobody of the map, there I'm we go. About. Okay, so... Signs. Every, single, every time I see a cornfield, I think of signs. Oh, so it's kind of showing you where, like, the pieces of the map are. That's kind of cool. Ah, a little easier to see. <laughs> One step closer to getting the hell out of here. One step close to the edge, and I'm about to break? Yeah. Lee, lee, yeah. lee, lee, lee. <laughs> Those are the words that it's written like little, 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 little. Miss Tutarim. What? I have no idea. Miss Tutarim. So it looks like we. Oh, the camp store. Piece of the map. I forgot. How to... Oh, is it? Is there an actual piece of the map here, or am I just? I, mean, I think it's that? inside. Maybe if you go inside, but somewhere there is an. So you might have to try to open the door. But there was like an exclamation point. I think if you try to find that, no. There's something you should see here. Just button mashing. Yeah, right there. I see that over there. And now it might want you to go back. So it might want you to pick it up in like a very specific order. Oh. Maybe oh, I already collected maybe you already that other picked one. That one up. Nope. Oh. It does. It wants you to do it in a very specific order. That's Dumb. stupid. If I'm here and it's supposed to be here, then why do that? With the final piece of the map in your possession, oh, man. only the demon stands between you and the necessary ritual items. Oh. The lost pages of the Necronomicon and Kandarian Dagger. Oh no. <laughs> See that? I don't remember much from the movie. Were they at a camp? It was just a cabin, wasn't I think it? It was just a cabin in the woods. Yeah. So now, this is just like a different place. Now, was this camp? Look at that. Teddy bear. Is this camp? That's pretty sweet. So they shot a teddy bear. Now, is the camp... Oh, no! What is this? It's a boomer! Yeah. It's a boomer! You know, I'm not normally a violent person. So what I was thinking, though, is the campground part of the lore in, like, the movie and TV show? Just back up or something? I can't remember. No, it's a different one. Like, I don't know, is this camp in the TV show? I don't know. Kind of reminds me of Friday the 13th. Sometimes you hit R3 and it doesn't kill him. It's got that look of, like, Camp Crystal Lake. Hmm. Lost Pages. Oh, from the Necronomicon? This is where you assemble them, I the guess. The team has awakened the Lost Pages, striking terror into the black heart of evil. Expect resistance. Oh. Oh, it's a different... The survivors oh, oh. now hold the Lost Pages of the Necronomicon. A world is a step closer to Holy salvation. Holy cow. Nail gun. So it's like giving us a bunch of stuff. Now there's a nail gun. Oh, instead of the ripe, the my boomstick. The damage is better, but the rate of fire is worse, and ammo capacity is worse than the shotgun. Hmm. Stay within the pages activation aura until the bar fills to collect all the pages. Okay. So apparently I collected the pages. Ah, the Kandarian dagger. Stay with it until the bar. Oh. The survivors have triggered collection of the Kandarian dagger. So you might have to stay within the circle. Inside its aura to speed the process. Yeah. So there's like the aura. You see it around you. Yeah. The living have seized the Kandarian dagger. You are one step closer to defeating the spirits of the book. It said with the lost pages in the Kandarian dagger, 
You must now expel the Dark Ones from our realm. So I wonder how we can do that. I can't so be left alone right now, I'd lose my mind. Oh, you're dying. Go back. Oh, what? You're dying. I don't get it. Neither do I. Your, Oops. your fear level is high. Nothing picks you up like a shimps. Am I supposed to stay within the level of something? Within the area of something? I don't... I'm not following. Yeah, I don't know what happened either. Because it's like, while the narrator is talking, you're getting attacked. It's giving yeah. you a bunch, of, a bunch of crap to pick up. And now they're like, oh, your fear level is high. And he's like, ah, 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 ah. And fear like, level is high. Use the Kandarian dagger to vanquish the dark ones. Oh. So we try to equip that thing, I guess. All right, let's equip that thing. How? I don't have a flashlight. No. Yeah, I just used a second amulet. It's not doing nothing. Question mark? Do I need a nail gun? Nothing. There's nothing here. So I'm not your, getting this. Where's your flashlight? That's gone. Hmm. It's like it took it away. All right, I guess continue on. I have no idea what they're talking about. So might as well turn around and go back. And just continue on with the game, I guess. I guess. What was that? Fear. Seek out light sources like bonfires and lights and lit houses to reduce fear level. Okay. Matchsticks. Collect them to light bonfires. Okay. Now how do you use them? See, that's what I think is so stupid. Like, it triggered, oh, your fear is all messed up. And it's like you won't figure it out until you get farther on down. Yeah. It's like you should have done it when it was here. Well, there's no way out. What are we going to do? Okay, so now that purple meter is your fear meter. Okay, I didn't know that. What? I can't carry any more matchsticks? Alright, so might as well continue on then. Wait a minute. Now that your fear level is down. It's not. It's, I need to w be this close to the fire for the fear level to go down. Alright, now... What, do I have to just move from... From... Light source to light source? And I don't like how they just randomly come out of nowhere, Yeah, too. it just teleports. Oh, and it burns out, too. A walking trail? Okay. Nice little archway. Oh, that's kind of cool. Holy dark cow. ones. Use triangle to dagger to defeat the dark ones. Oh, now you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So while you're sitting there blasting them... So there's one. Now move to the next one. That's... That's all it let me do. Oh, okay, so now there goes the second one, and it's done. Almost. You got a little bit more. And then they'll freak out again. And now you got one more health bar. I hit the dodge button, but it didn't do nothing. You So you have to be within range. All right, so we defeated the dark one. I was thinking it was going to send like all these other creatures out after us. There's no doubt that the demon will attempt to destroy the uh -oh. completed Necronomicon. You Holy must cow. not allow it. So we have to prevent them from destroying that thing. And now it's just impossible to kill them. One less evil back. You must You've protect it from point being in my recordings. All right, apparently we did reason. it. I choose to believe you've closed the portal. Okay. Mankind will never know what you've avoided, but you and I do. But you well, and thank I. the big man upstairs, it's over. I just wanted to get laid. <laughs> well, thank the big man upstairs. All, All right, right. Give me that was that a thing. cool to toodle tutorial. That was awesome. That's the awesomest tutorial we've ever played, actually. Yeah. No Easter eggs, but still. Yeah, that was the thing I don't like, is like, with your fear meter, it's like, oh, what's going on? Well, you won't know until you get like 100 yards farther. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, why do it so quickly? 
All right, so one thing we were looking at, so we went into the missions, and we checked out the missions and a whole bunch of different stuff, but there is another tutorial, the Kandarian Demon, or Kandorian Demon. Yeah. So I'm going to go to that, and we'll do the Kandorian Demon. Check it out. Oh, so we play as the Kandorian oh, Demon. Oh, okay. So Necromancer Puppeteer. I don't know which one to pick. Yeah, these are classic Deadites there, aren't they? So it says Necromancer. I don't know. The original Ash was down here at the bottom, and the newest one was up top, so maybe we'll just go with this. Yeah. All right, so we're just I'm just going to go right here and pick the original one right off the bat. Yeah. Bring me forth into the realm of the living! <clears throat> okay! Okay! Oh. Okay. Evil, Evil bus. bus. Okay. okay. Why is it Evil say bus. Evil bus. I don't know. It takes you to evil land. <laughs> Keep an eye on their flashlight's battery so it doesn't die oh, on it. So that's what happened to my flashlight. That's what it I was wondering. <sighs> so okay. a demon can possess you if your fear level is too high. Oh. Well, what does that do? Whoa. First person. Whoa. Holy oh, cool. cow! That's you, crazy. You have, oh, hold you've on. been awakened. Hold oh. on. You have been awakened from our ancient slumber. A group of the living seek the lost pages of the Necronomicon to banish us from their world. One by one, we must take them. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> That's cool. Book of the Dead. Do not let the survivors collect the lost pages of the Necronomicon. If the survivors reconstruct the book, the demon will be banished from the world and destroy the book. I like how it moves around like in the movie. Yeah, that's really awesome. Going through all Holy the... Oh, you just blast through things. That Holy. is crazy. They got the movements perfect. Infernal, Infernal energy. Okay, Whoa. so I can't collect anything in here. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah. So you're just like disembodied demon right now. We are trying to get used to the controls, What's though. that say? You have a variety of methods to weaken and destroy survivors. You will need infernal energy. Is that what that is? That little smoky cloud thing? Is it? No. I, it's like an ice cream cone. Yeah, I don't know. It's not allowing me to pick anything up. Okay. Explore the world to collect orbs and fill your energy bar it's because it's zoomed out it's like oh there it is uh, oh okay so you automatically collect it as soon as you get right next to it then huh you have an energy bar somewhere oh on the bottom the very bottom so it's slowly dropping all the time so you need to keep collecting all these energy sources so that's pretty sweet yeah that is awesome they got the camera work perfect it's like very analog though, so you gotta like watch how fast you're moving and really? stuff. Really? Wow. Alright, so I think I'm all filled up, right? So, we're just gonna go this way. Oh, you can see them. The outline over there. People. I don't know if those are people or deadites or what, undead, possessed people, I don't know. Possession? L1? Oh, <laughs> it's like classic deadite. Cost 60. This never gets old. <laughs> huh. Now, do I have a time limit as to how long? If you don't have enough infernal, infernal. then collect more orbs. Hmm. So okay. you can still collect orbs. You can collect those things. How? A triangle? I, mean, I think I have to... Or you have to leave the body. Yeah, so L1 to return to my spirit form. And oh. Then so maybe you need to fly around to find him first, and then possess Set some of the nearby portal. bodies. Basic portal, proximity portal, elite portal. Hmm. Try one of them. It's L2 plus X? Yeah, and it didn't... I'm feeling rather tired. It didn't do anything. Oh, maybe it used all your energy. So it costs energy to do that? Well, I hit L2 and X, and nothing happened. Huh. And then I hit L2 and square, and then it was... He did a lunge attack. Okay, I want to set the portal. L2, X. And he does that. Oh, X is dodge, so maybe it's not doing the L2 thing. L2 plus that, and he attacks. Huh. Looks like it's just doing the basic movements. R2 plus X, elite portal. He's not doing anything. Unless okay. I have to do it as a spirit. Maybe. Try it. 
There it is. Oh. Uh, are reinforcements supposed to come out of that? I guess. I mean, that was the way... It mm, I thought it might be actual teleporting to another spot on the map or something, but... So if I do this and put it over by the car... Yeah. Now... Is it gone from in here? You can get, get inside. Yeah. So it... You can only place... Wait, yeah. You can only place one at a time, then, I'm guessing. Alright, so what happens if I go in it then? Find out. Nothing, you just walk through it. Possess vehicles? Huh! Cool! Use them to run down That's survivors. Right. Like his car gets possessed in Evil Dead. Uh, Ash vs. Evil Dead. Or some vehicle does, I don't know which one. Clifford? That's the brand? You're driving a Clifford. What the heck's a Clifford? Yeah, that's right. It can't go through there. Looks like you're following the same path Ash did last time. I would have expected you're coming from the opposite side of the map or something. Yeah, it's weird. It's like you're following after. I don't see. Is Ash up ahead then? Evil tree. Use some environmental objects or as traps. Even possess them. If, an, if a survivor springs a trap or is scared by... Po a possessed object. Their fear level rises. So, huh. you can possess a tree, just like an Evil Dead, in the first movie, or second movie, I guess. Uh, can you? Oh yeah. Huh. Well, that's, it's crazy. Oh, and you can only attack once. Oh, really? That's lame. And then you got a countdown. But Ash isn't here, so we're going to keep going, I guess. Yeah, I think we need to upgrade skills. A variety of actions raise your threat level. Possession, collecting infernal orbs. So you just like a skill set. Uh, it's XP. So I think this is more like... This would be a good tutorial if there's a bunch of people in here playing. Hmm, but maybe. because it's just us, I think it's meant more for a multiplayer situation. Maybe... Because otherwise, it's like there's not really a whole lot to interact with. Yeah, I don't see any good guys. That's the thing. Is like, is there an Ash here? Is there someone here to... Looks like we're just running around possessing things. Summon the boss. L2, R2. Necronomicon. Only the Book of the Dead has the power to banish us from this world. Assume the physical form and destroy the book. Oh, you have to assume a physical form first. Oh, that's it? Okay. Now you're mine! So I just, yeah, I had to hit L2 and R2. Okay. So we don't even get to see Ash. Well, what the heck? We don't have to fight against anybody. That's a little disappointing. It was just a tutorial that showed us how to do things, so yeah. I guess that is what it is. But yeah, there's like no good guys in there for us to fight against to really test out right. our stuff. Right, yeah, that would have been good to be able to test it against somebody. Like, you can't test rising their fear levels and what that does and what you can do with it. It just was sort of an informational booklet. All right, so we did the tutorial and we did all that. So I guess now the next step would be go to play and then all this stuff is like online. Mm -hmm. So I guess really the next big thing is exploration and then versus AI versus AI. Yeah, we could try that. So I guess coming up next, we're going to do exploration and we're going to explore the maps at our own pace. But beware. You're not alone. Mm. Uh oh. Ooh.